What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. So today this video is going to be about removing the front bumper on your Mustang. Doesn't matter if it's a Mustang GT, Mustang Convertible, Mustang V6, doesn't matter. All Mustangs. Uh, this particular Mustang is 2006. I believe this same process works from 05 to 09. Why would you want to take your bumper off? Well, you don't want to. Unfortunately, this is the nature of the beast. In order to replace your headlight assemblies, right here, some people love the uh, halo LED look. I personally like the factory stock look. Um, so in order to go back to that, we've got to take it apart. Not to mention, I don't know what somebody did here, but this is not how it was supposed to be. Um, this is just no good. No good at all. So, to start with, um, we're going to take this cow cover off. There's supposed to be six clips. One, two, three, four, five, six. As you'll notice, where some of these clips should be, there's nowhere for a clip to actually fit. Um, everything is off center because this grill is not a GT grill. I know it shouldn't make a difference, but it sure seems to here. I can't get anything to line up when it comes to this grill, and it doesn't fit right either. Um, so I have a GT grill I'm going to be installing. We'll do a video on uh, putting in a new grill. Uh, some of the procedures in this video are not going to match your particular Mustang, because this car was wrecked in the front end before. And although they did a pretty good job putting it back together, it's definitely not perfect. And there are some steps that I will go ahead and show you that are not going to be required on this particular car. So, first thing I would do is, uh, you could do it with needle nose, flat blade screwdriver, whatever the case may be. Pop these out, all six of them, set them to the side. This one over here is a completely different type. Uh, that you should not have on your car. Um, your Mustang will have those pop-out ones like I just showed you. This is one I stuck in here because this thing had no clips in it. I've got a whole box of new clips that we're going to be uh, putting in this, and I will not be going back with these push-type clips. I will go be going back with all of these. These hold things a lot more securely, in my opinion. So pull this out of the way. Here we go. Now... You'll see that I've got damage to the core sport right here. It's nothing severe. It's nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Uh, it's just a little bit bit up right here. And what I'm going to do is while I've got this taken off, I'm going to knock all this back in because this is actually pushed out way too far. I'm just going. This is thin metal. It's there's nothing to it. I'm just going to take a hammer and knock that back in a little bit so that the grill fits the way it's supposed to fit in here. So what we're going to do now, you don't have to take your grill off for the purpose of removing the bumper. All right, that's just uh, what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it with some cutters because I had to zip tie it. Thanks to the accident and the fact that this grill does not match the car. And as you can see, it's supposed to have these clips, which it does. And it's supposed to fit down in here in these grooves on both sides but it does not. And then there's one other issue. And that is, there are supposed to be grooves, just like these, right here, right here, and right here. And unfortunately, somebody has uh, taken it upon themselves to cut them out. So, that's something else we're going to have to deal with. Alright, so you're going to want to disconnect your fog lights if you're going to be removing your grill. Which, like I said, it's not necessary if you're removing your bumper. Unless you're changing out your grill or your fog lights or something. Go ahead and set that to the side. And I'll have to clean all this tape off. These didn't fit right, so I'll have to get the tape off of all those and clean this mess up. You're going to need to turn your wheels all the way to the side that you're working on. So if you're on the driver's side, turn your wheels all the way out. you got to get under here, and there are uh, 
let's see there's supposed to be Phillips screws in these so on your Mustang you should have Phillips screws on here unfortunately we don't what we have are these push tab things that don't fit so there's one this one's missing one altogether and down here we've got a teeny teeny tiny little bolt um, All right, so what we got here is a seven millimeter. Yeah, that's not how that was supposed to be. So hopefully yours is not like that. And then just a matter of uh, getting in here and popping this out like so. And then under here, let's see if we can get up here. There's going to be a couple bolts. And these are going to be 10 millimeter. Let's see if I can get up in here so you can see them. I don't even know how good that was. But uh, pull this splash shield. All right, and I'll try to do this one more time. Right up here, hopefully you can see them. There are two 10 millimeter bolts that you gotta get out. All right, so let's go ahead and take those off. All right, once you get those two bolts out, you're gonna need to turn your wheel all the way to the passenger side. You're gonna need to come up here and take this bolt off come over here and take this bolt off all right on the passenger side once you get this out of the way like I said you should have Phillips screws it's basically repeating the same process we've already done take your clips or your screws out of the fender well in my case I had some weird clips and this weird screw that doesn't belong but don't lose them pop the fender lining out just like we did last time Remove the 10 millimeter bolts, the two that are right in here, and then we should be ready to remove the bumper. So let's get started. All right, once you've knocked that out, underneath the bumper here, you're going to see holes. One, two, three, four. Now normally, you'd have bolts under there with a plastic shroud attached under here. Um, you need to take these bolts along the bottom of your bumper off. Mine does not have that. If you want to protect your bumper, put you a blanket or something down. I don't give a shit about mine. So, we're going to come over here kind of peel the edge yeah, there you go as you see it's already fallen off all right we're gonna come over here I'm gonna put my leg up against it right here to help keep it from falling we're gonna peel this and as you can see the bumper is ready to come off now, there's gonna be wires attached down here for your uh, lights so be mindful of that so you don't break anything and here's what the uh, Mustang looks like front bumper coming off of it um, there's little tabs just push in pull out Let's see this one over here has a broken tab of course deal with it later at this point your bumper is ready 
to be moved out of the way. And there's what she looks like. And at this point, you can get back to removing these headlights. There's a bolt up here, and there's a bolt down here. Um, again, mine are in the wrong place. <laughs> That's nice. Um, we're going to have some wiring to disconnect here. Someone used these, uh, I hate these splice connectors here. Really don't like them. They tend to corrode and mess things up. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the wires flush. If I can find my cutters. I'm going to cut the wires flush. Uh, the white one here. Just like that. And then this black one right here is another one of the aftermarkets. I'll go over all this with electrical tape when we're done so that there won't be any issues. All right, I'll come over here because I know they've done it the same way here. I've got a, I think I need to get some new cutters. go. I should take care of that. Alright, now we'll get to uh, taking these lights off. Looks like it's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt under there. Same thing over here. So I may have miscounted the bolts here. In fact, I know I did. We've got one here, one here, and then the one on top. So on this particular headlight assembly, we have three. Um, I thought there were only two on this, but one, two, three. All right, so we got the passenger side done. Moving on to the driver's side. Sheet metal screws, gotta love them. All right, push this tab, pull this out. And here's what she looks like underneath. Now this will go right back to the factory headlights. These, I'll clip uh, these up here. These have absolutely no use. Um, clip those, we'll tape all this up, make it look good again, and uh, I'll put it all back together. Do a quick test fit. This is the new grill I'm putting in, smoked fog lights, and the uh, OEM style headlights. Um, I paid $119 with shipping for the headlights and the smoked fogs and the grill I think was uh, the grill was 50 for a OEM style GT grill this is a test fit it's not going to line up perfectly to start with just want to make sure that uh, everything looks reasonable so here's what it looks like we've got uh, the holes on the bottom that we gotta line up to so it should be a lot of fun all right so with a little bit of work we got headlight number one in and it's gonna be the same thing on the other side basically everything bolted up just uh, not exactly where I anticipated it was going to go, but that's what you get when you uh, buy a car that's been 
in an accident before. Um, the bulbs that I always go with are Sylvania Silver Star Ultras. These are the best damn headlights you can get. I've already put them in to the uh, fog lights. They're a little pricey. Um, I think they're like, a, well, on eBay I can get these for like $26 a pack. At Walmart it's going to be more like $50 a pack. But um, these are great, he great headlights. You won't regret buying them. And uh, we'll put the other headlight on and then we'll get back to it. All right, after a little bit of drilling modification thanks to the car accident, we have the headlights installed. Everything appears to line up properly. I've adjusted the headlights to the best of my ability. And that's just about it. From here, reverse the procedure to put everything back together. Pretty simple and straightforward. Alright guys, so I could have done a video on putting the whole thing back together, but to be honest with you, it's just too much of a hassle. Uh, one person trying to put the bumper and everything back on. You saw how to take it apart. Literally, it goes on exactly in reverse of the way you took it apart. Here's the finished product. Here's what she looks like now. Um, the fog lights are smoked, and I'm not particularly sure that I like them. Um, the pony is now chrome. It was painted black, but I went ahead and got the black off of it, painted it chrome. Not everything matches up perfectly, 100%, but I think it looks really good. It's very clean. It gives it that Mustang GT look that it's supposed to have instead of, uh, you know, those V6 lights that it had before. We'll turn off the fog lights so that you can see what it looks like with the smoked fog lights. And I may change those. Um, as you can see, it's a very stealthy look. You can almost barely even see that they're there. Uh, that may help some. But I mean, what that does, that gives it that GT350 look, you know, in my opinion. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it looks a lot more like a Mustang again without those. Uh, some people like those halo headlights with the LEDs and stuff. I just think it makes it look kind of ridiculous. And uh, I think it looks like a Mustang again. The Chrome Pony came out really well. I'm really happy with that. I'm glad I was able to salvage it because another one, uh, OEM, was going to run me $50. So there she is, guys. Um, on to another project with this car and another video. As always, like, comment, and be safe out there.